running a half marathon for charity coming up. Hello and welcome back to the Freelance Verse. A very, very different video for you guys today, uh, but hopefully it's going to be fun. Uh, as most of you know that are following me, uh, I strongly believe that a big part of a fulfilled life is giving back to the less fortunate. One way that I have been doing that is with a local charity here called Surf the City. Luckily as a freelancer I feel like it's much easier to take time out of your day to do something for the community, for, for bettering of society because you do manage your own time, right? So that's uh, exactly what I've been doing in the last month. And now uh, Surf the City team is running the 20k almost half marathon of Brussels. And I was convinced uh, by someone to sign up a few months ago. Uh, I've been training hard and I've never thought I would get there, but uh, it has been a very rewarding uh, journey. It is currently Saturday the 27th of May, so one day before the big race. So tomorrow morning I will uh, get up early, hopefully eat something and be very focused and prepared for the race. And I will take you along, so enjoy the video. Good morning. 7 a.m. I had a very good night's sleep. I'm very happy about that. I was asleep at like 9.30 or 10, 10 p.m. already. Woke up at 6. Optimal time for sleep uh, for me. And now it's time for breakfast because the race is around 10. So it's important to get your food in around 3-4 hours before the race. Uh, I will do that now. Some oatmeal, some fruits, some peanut butter to give me the most, uh, the possible most energy for the race. Starting to get nervous. So the sun is already coming out, as you can see. Beautiful conditions. Uh, I got oatmeal with kiwi, banana, uh, peanut butter, some chia seeds, and some cinnamon, and a protein shake. As I mentioned before, I'm running this uh, race together with a charity, Surf the City. Uh, you can check down below in the in the description the link for them. And I'm also gonna add, I think YouTube has like a charity function where I can directly link a charity. So I'm gonna do that. Birds are very active today. So if you want to donate and sponsor the, the runners of today uh, and to do something good for society and support the people in need, make sure to do that. And if you don't want to or if you can't, no problem. You can actually donate for free, which is really cool. Uh, I'm gonna put ads on this video and if you just watch the ads completely through from beginning to end all the money that is collected by these ads goes directly to the charity right without you doing anything so usually you probably skip the ads and I do the same so I usually do that but today try to watch them through and you can actually force the advertisers to do something for charity which is kind of cool all right breakfast just preparing my GoPro I will actually film the run with my GoPro with the chest mount and now I have to charge the battery for a bit so it will be fully charged. I have about 20-25 minutes now until I have to leave to pick up the, the bib and the number and the t-shirt etc. So uh, of course stretching for me very important. I know that I will not run out of breath within 20k but I'm really worried about my hips and my knees and my hamstrings so that's what I need to focus on. So now I will do an, a very extensive stretching before I go. And I will also do an extensive meditation, uh, performance meditation to really get in the right headspace. Because for me, I noticed that once my legs start to cramp up or once my hips start to hurt, then it's all mental, right? I know I can finish it, but it's all just a, a mental question. So I, re I need to be really in the right headspace. So I'm not gonna film anymore, I'm gonna like take my time now, it is 7.25 and at 8 I want to leave. So this is now the very important part of preparation for me. I'll catch you before I leave. Switch to the GoPro for the first time ever. Hope this works. All right, I just left. First stop is the office of the charity to pick up my t-shirt and my number. And I will try to find a scooter to get there. Do not expend too much energy. Uh, 
I can't go further with the scooter because they already blocked everything as you can see it's already full of police and car free which is amazing it's the right to see most of car free so I'm so excited for that so I have to walk the rest of the stretch but it's good to warm up the muscles and I left early luckily so I, I have time and the weather oh, it's just absolute perfection I'm so excited now I mean last year there were 30,000 participants and this year I heard it's even bigger so it's a huge event and this gate that you can see here at the end that's both the start and the finish line so we do a circle through the city and then out city and come back here and, uh, and this stretch here is kilometer 19 so or no kilometer 20 basically the last one Number is picked up. T-shirt, very nice color. And now I'm going to the park to warm up a bit. I still have a lot of time until we do the group picture at 9.15. It's only 8.40 now, so I can take it easy and meet some of my friends before that. Perfect conditions as usual. So many people. They just had the the starting cannon from the from the arc. So it started. It's exactly 10 a.m. My wave is not starting yet, so I'm heading to the start now. Very nervous, but I'm I'm ready. Fully prepared. GoPro is mounted. Let's go. The 
And that was the first 5k done. I actually tried to speak in the GoPro from time to time, but I realized editing this video that it didn't pick it up. So I'm gonna do a voiceover. The first k were, first 5k were very smooth. I had an average pace of around 6 minutes and uh, 5 seconds. I went out a bit too hot, actually. I wanted to keep it around 6.20 throughout the whole race, but uh, I felt good. I knew that... Uh, the first 10 kilometers would be kind of smooth sailing, so I felt very good here. At the 10k spot there was a DJ stage in the middle of Bois de la Cambre at the, the nice park in Brussels. I still felt good, I had an average pace of 6.18 so I slowed down a bit to be able to be, the, be ready for the rest of the race. As you can see here, whenever I could, I chose grass or natural places to run on because I'm used to running from uh, playing football and also from practicing in the forest. So whenever I could avoid asphalt, I tried. Coming into my home turf, this is very close to my home, so I felt double the motivation to keep going because this is where I've been practicing for so many months now and uh, it felt amazing to run here with everyone else. Fifteen K done. Feeling okay. Hips are starting to hurt, knees. But now, I know it's all mental from now on. The support is amazing. Muse is blasting in my ears. Weather is amazing. So now it's all mental. But I know that kilometer 18 and 19 are super steep, so let's do this. And then it was done. I had to lay down and <laughs> relax my legs and my brain a bit. 2.18 final time. Very happy with my performance. The day was amazing. I met so many people at Surf the City. Made good new friends, met old friends, spent the whole afternoon in the park eating pizza, drinking beer, enjoying my time. So, hello. It is so much later. It is almost 9 p.m. now. Uh, I basically spent the whole afternoon with friends in the park enjoying the sun and getting sunburned even though I put so much, so much sunscreen on my face. Anyways, uh, I'm very happy with my performance. In the end I got 2.18 as official time. Uh, that is great. I, my goal was between 2.15 and 2.20 and it is straight in the middle so 
that's great. And I'm even more happy to see all the charities that came together and uh, raised so much money, well over two million for a great cause. Now I'm back home. Uh, as you can see, I have my Mexican takeaway here. Nice Belgian beer. Uh, ice pack. My legs are kind of destroyed, especially my knees and my, my right ankle. So tomorrow is going to be a lot of recovery. It's actually nice because tomorrow is a national holiday, or not national, like a religious holiday in most of Europe. But I'm still working, so I can just hear from the sofa easily work without much client distraction, right? So I get as much done as possible while still recovering. There you go, this is this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed this very different type of video. Let me know in the comment if you have ever done a 20K. I've just seen some people that I know watch the video have done this 20K recently. Let me know your time and your experience. I'm very curious and I see you next Monday with uh, regular programming again. Bye bye.